Hi, I'm Adam, a GIS analyst at ESRI. Imagery is core to the work we do as GIS professionals, and new enhancements in ArcGIS make it much easier to manage large collections of imagery, define how those images are viewed uh, by others, and it's much easier to take that imagery and share it with others. Using the new Mosaic dataset, we can take collections of images and quickly seam them together and push them out. We can define how users interact and see that information without changing the source, just how it's viewed. And new and improved image services make it much easier and faster to take that content and push it out to our audiences. I'm very excited to show you how we can manage geospatial information using ArcGIS. This is my study area just north of Casper, Wyoming. It's called the Teapot Dome, and I've collected uh, several images for this area, and I would like to use the new Mosaic data set to help me manage these images. I'm going to create a new Mosaic data set. A mo mosaic data set is a hybrid of a raster uh, data set and a raster catalog, and it's a new data type in the geodatabase. I'm going to select a coordinate system that I would like to represent my images and create this data set. So now let's go in and reference or add references to my images in this data set. So I'm going to right click to do that and we'll browse to some NAEP imagery from 2001 that I collected. These are our Mr. Sid images. I'm just going to select them all and add them right to, ArcGI, uh, right to the Mosaic data set. Now, what's happening is that I'm not duplicating these images. I'm, they're staying in their original source, and the Mosaic is just managing them from their uh, location on my disk. So let's drag this in. We can see the, out, the uh, footprints of those images. And when I zoom in, we can now take a look at the parts that make up a mosaic data set. Here we have a boundary extent, so this is the boundary of the images we just loaded. We can see on our map right now the green outline representing the footprints for all of the different images we loaded. And if I turn these off, we can see one seamless representation uh, of our imagery uh, represented here in our display. Now the real power of the mosaic data set comes in how it can help us manage our, our content. So I'm going to open up the attribute table, and I know that these are NAEP images, so I'm going to go ahead and calculate a field uh, that defines these as product type equal to NAEP. I know that these were captured in 2001, so let's go ahead and add a field called year that will store our capture date. Fill that with 2001, and there we go. So we've just added our uh, rasters into the mosaic, and we've updated the attribute information for these rasters. So really managing this information in the mosaic data set is just like managing any other spatial information that we would in, in a GIS. I'd like to show you a little bit more advanced capability pertaining to the mosaic data set. And to do this, I'm going to use another mosaic data set to add some Iconos imagery. So let's go ahead and reference this raw Iconos imagery. It's a multispectral uh, product. And I am going to choose the file type from my dropdown to be Iconos. And I'm going to grab an entire workspace full of Iconos images. And it's about 10 gigs in size. So I'm going to select all of these folders add them in. Let's define a few uh, raster type properties. I'd like the mosaic to do some work for me. I'd like it to read in uh, this multispectral information and give me back a true color rendering of that. I can apply a stretch and give it some values that I uh, know work well for this data. Say OK. And there we go. Now remember, we're not copying the images over. They're staying in their, in their location on disk, the mosaic is just referencing them. Let's bring in the mosaic to our map and take a look. A lot of things are happening on the fly right now for me, and the mosaic data set is, is generating that, creating the composites from the
the multispectral data and doing the pan sharpening. Now, this is great. We've taken some raw Iconos imagery. We've referenced it in our mosaic data set, and now I can use it here in ArcMap. But how do I take this imagery and make it accessible to a much larger user base? To do that is pretty straightforward, and we're going to use ArcGIS Server to do that. I am going to right click on the mosaic data set that we just created, and I'm going to choose the Publish to ArcGIS Server option, assign any capabilities I'd like to assign to it, and publish this out as a service. Once I've done this, this service is now exposed and I can point my users to it so that they too can use uh, the images that I have just loaded from this Mosaic data set right into this service. And they can use it in any of their clients, GIS, CAD, mobile, or even web mapping applications. So as you can see, managing our imagery is just like managing any other spatial data in our GIS. And now it's much easier and faster to take that information and share it with others. Thank you.